Hi everyone, it's Toffee here, and welcome back to another episode of LSPDFR. Uh, oh, don't mind that dead guy. <laughs> Today we're going to be doing something which you've probably not seen before, or you may have seen, but I mean, I don't know. We're going to be doing a patrol, or kind of a whole episode on what really is US Customs and Border like Patrol or Border Protection kind of kind of thing like that, kind of just making sure all the, all the immigrants are, yeah, all the immigrants are where they're supposed to be and any people that are actually not supposed to be in the country are shipped away and uh, dealt with. So, uh, first time doing this and I'm, I've got some calls set up which may or may not kind of try and relate to kind of this patrol itself, like Grand F Dolls, we may not take Grand stuff Death like that, Dollar but I'm more kind of like house, well, kind of like people on the run and stuff like that. I've got the calls at the back of my head, but I can't, I can't spit, spit them out. But we've got this uh, little scenario up here, and uh, these guys are awfully afraid to move a muscle. But we pulled over. And uh, we've we done a quick license plate check on them actually, and we actually found out that they're actually not supposed to be in the country, so we've got them lined up there, uh, their hands are firmly on the vehicle, can't go anywhere, and if they do go for a run, well, it's going to be another bad choice I've made. So we've got their burrito van, one of them was in the back, and... I don't know, they possibly could have been a way to go pick up some immigrants, well, from immigrants, yeah, from like a nearby boat or a, a nearby pickup point. So we've stopped that, which is good. And I think we'll deal with them, get them sent away. We'll be back on patrol. Okay, so we're going to go in for the arrest for these two gentlemen here. Uh, one of them appears to, well, both of them appear to be... Uh, Mexican or from Mexican heritage or Spanish and they've got their burrito van here I haven't we checked have it yet but we may have a little look Great Ocean Highway. so I think we'll we'll have a little look see if we can do anything oh this guy's put his hands down I don't know if that's just because I was going into search but you better get them back up or something's gonna happen okay well we'll just leave him there I think he might be bugging out a little but no need no need have a little look at the the other side. I hope you're all having a good day today. I mean, I'm having a good one. It's all right. Hope you guys are finding my videos entertaining. They're both there. I'll have a little look in the back as well, if we can. Yeah, we can. Reporting a possible stolen vehicle in the Alamo So it turns out we found nothing of interest and we've searched the back, we've searched both uh, the passenger and the driver's side, but we didn't seem to find anything so we'll see if we can go for the arrest for this gentleman here. Sir, hands behind your head, down on the floor. I won't say this again sir, hands behind your head. There we are, down on the floor, don't move a muscle. I don't know what happened to the other guy. Oh, well, uh... Oh, there he is. Wait, where's the other guy? What? Oh, well, we got... We arrested Jim Pickens. I'm not sure he's where he's went off to. Oh, there he is. <laughs> he's trying to hide from us. Oh! We have a criminal resisting arrest. Alright, Jim. Um, uh... About 68. Just follow me this way, please. It's come to this. Oh, and... The other boy's over next to us as well. Oh. Come on, Jim. Get over here. Jim, please. Ah, we'll, we'll set him down then. Alright, we'll set him down and uh, we'll call on a, a unit to come pick him up. Be prepared, guys. My uh, prison transport unit is still decaled. Still got all the textures for their our previous video, but... Don't mind that, it's just camouflaged. Don't mind it at all. I'm bringing it out. Alright, sir, hands behind your head, down on the floor. Like I said to your friend, 
Vamanos, get down on the floor, sir. Hands behind your head. Ah, they'll take Jim Jim away. Cheers. Cheers, mate. Always good to be nice to people. Okay, Alright, sir, you're under arrest. I think you do say it will be used in a court of law against you. I kind of just like saying it that way. I think it... I mean, it sounds it's short, but it's it's to the it's point. Serious. Kind of. Alright, so we got a... Oh, I forgot his name, but we've got this guy here. And we'll get him, move, get him over here. So, uh, he's more cooperative than the other boy. Oh, uh, no he's not. I'm bringing it out. Mother Santa. So we actually forgot to ch check them, so we'll check this guy. I mean, the other guy will probably get frisked down at the, <laughs> down at the jail. Uh, but we found nothing of interest, as I expected, and we'll c call another call for this guy. Alright, uh, we're gonna need another uh, transport unit for uh, Daniel Winnard. Yeah, he's gonna be brought in for a. Uh, brought in for. Uh, kind of not even being allowed to be in this country, so. being an immigrant. So we'll have to get him checked out and get him. sent away and whatnot. So we'll wait for uh, the prison unit to come along. And while that's happening, we'll go have a look at this body. I don't know what's happening here. But I was waiting to see if we can search it and get his ID, but it appears he doesn't have one on him. So I actually might need to get a coroner down here, because I have no idea where it came from. Oh, there's there's the unit. <laughs> Alright, we're going to need a coroner down here for a possible murder. Alright, oh, there they are. Good stuff. All right, we'll s say hello to the other, uh, the other officer. All right, sir. Uh, thank you. Uh, yeah, he's just uh, not cooperating at all. So be cautious with him. Ah. All right. I'll wait for this vehicle to get past and. Uh, Well, we'll see if we can write a ticket for this one, uh, just in case any officers or any people come along and we'll get get this vehicle cleared up fairly soon. So, we'll request some DMV information about it and see if, uh, or we'll do a plate check actually. That'll probably be the best idea. Okay, uh, okay, uh, this is going to be Officer uh, Toffee reporting in for a, a plate check for a black D-class of burrito. Coming in with the registration 87 X ray Victor Mary 332. Wait for this to get called in. Dispatch will get hold of it and give us the relevant information back. Target license plate 87 X ray Victor Mary 332. No, 1099. Okay, so it was registered to John Wrangler, so that could have been a possible friend of theirs. But, I mean, it could be possibly stolen as well. So, while we're here, uh, we'll just do a quick kind of citation. So, if anyone nearby, maybe the local police will be able to take care of it, because there's nothing really much we can do. We'll just uh, give it a little party citation and, uh, and we'll look, notify the local desert. police as well. Alright, so this is Officer Toffee reporting, just uh, to Hoover's picking up on the radio, for uh, people in Blaine County, we've got a black the class of burrito sitting off of J Joshua Road on the west side of it, so if any available units are able to respond and take care of the vehicle, that will be great. Okay. So after all that done, a good start to an episode I would have to say. We're gonna head out in our vehicle right here. We got beautiful, beautiful uh, Buffalo here with uh, the US Customs Border Patrol or Border Protection on the side of it looking good. So we're probably gonna take some calls if we can and 
and see if we can take anything else as well. So some calls, and if there's any vehicles or people we see them or see not fit or just seem a bit odd, we'll pull them over, have a little word with them, see what we can do. But yeah, I'm not sure if we'll be able to find anyone, but if we do, we will, we will take action. Citizens report a motor vehicle accident in Grande Sonora Desert. Right, okay, it appears we've actually got a, a guy here. I mean, it's probably not our job to do so, but I mean, we've got to keep the community safe here. We've got a guy. Appears to be a male suspect. White. Maybe mid-20s. mid, mid -20s, Riding a motorcycle here. With no helmet, so that is... Completely illegal, and... Causing a danger to himself, and possibly others as well. I mean, he does have a cowboy hat on, but it's, it's not good enough here. So we'll flag him up ahead and see what his problem is. And wait, we'll just wait a little. We don't want to take our time with this. Wait until we get on the graphite road. Or the cement road. Or I don't even know what you make. The asphalt, yeah. Asphalt road. Alright. We'll just give him time to get settled down and realise what he's, he's possibly could have done. We'll just make sure we've got everything we need. Uh, pen, paper. Okay. Alright, no guns. Uh, we'll see what. Alright, sir. You seem awfully, awfully nervous today. Hope you're doing alright. I hope you know why I actually pulled you over as well. Uh, you, you don't. Well, it's not about your, your speed limit, sir. It's not about that, no. But it's about. Uh, the way you're actually riding your motorcycle today. We're not too bothered about you're not wearing the protective gear on your legs or your your body, but we are we're quite annoyed that you haven't got a protective helmet on here, so I don't know if, what you're doing today, but I mean anywhere you go with your motorcycle it's always best to take your helmet, so yeah. So we'll give him an insult. Yeah, <laughs> I don't like the look of you. So, we've done that. We'll ask for his ID. Alright, sir. I'm just going to ask for your ID here. See if uh, anything pops up. So, we've got a, a James Carter. A possible stolen vehicle in Grande Sonora Desert. Search police records. James Carter. Did that come up? I'm not sure if it did. I don't think I don't think it did. It's a bit buggy. I'm not. I've first time trying that as well. And it must not work, but mm, or it might not just. It most likely will be uh, me not even using it correctly. But while that didn't work, we'll we'll do it the good old fashioned way. James Carter. Alright, so we got the reports for James Carter, license is valid, he's got no active warrants, born 1995, so he's, yeah, it was about right, mid-20s, mid or early 20s, or, well, like, really early 20s, so, and he's not got a plate as well, so, yeah, we'll probably have to give him something for that as well. Alright, sir, hello again. Alright, uh, I've went through your, your license and whatnot, and you seem to be alright. You haven't got anything previous on your record, so that's that's a bonus to you. Good on you, sir. But I'm going to have to ask you, 
I'm I'm gonna I'll be nice I'll be generous today to you, sir. I'm gonna have to give you a I'll give you a fifty dollar citation for both not having a vehicle. license plate on your on your Yankee motorcycle here and uh, not actually having a helmet on while you're you're driving today. So I'm gonna write you a citation. Hopefully you take this to heart and uh, you start wearing your motorcycle and stuff. Uh, you're wearing your motorcycle? What? You start wearing your helmet and uh, be a good boy. So there we go. Write him a citation. I hope you guys like this style of episode. It's a bit. It's calmer. It's like whew, not many call outs. Not many. Like, I don't know, like, way to it. There's more set up because we done that cool little thing at the start, pulled this guy over, teach them a lesson, and now we're going to head back and possibly take a call out if we get one. Let this car go past. Got a trailer on the back as well. Alright, okay. So we'll see what we can muster up. We might be able to get some sort of some sort of thing going. We've got a broken down vehicle. I don't think we'll need to take that. Oh, that car just despawned. Half a days. And we've got 50 miles an hour speed there. I'm not. I think that guy possibly could have been going faster, but I mean. I think we'll have to get to our callouts. I mean, we did end up arresting two uh, illegals in the country, so that's a that's a bonus. We took two out the country already, or two out the the state, or the country. Yeah, the country, because you can go state to state if you're in America. Got a coyote over there. I think we'll have a little pull over if we can't and just observe the area and see if we get a call out. We'll sit here until we get a call and we'll see what we can do. We have a 148 on a Great Ocean Highway. Alright, so we've got a call out here for an arrest warrant. Suspect heading in terminal. Respond code 3. And we've got the... We've got the call in that the suspect could potentially have uh, firearms. And it's all the way at the top of the map, so we'll head over there. And uh, I don't know if you guys want to see the drive there, but... I guess we can... We'll we'll, we'll leave it in. I think you, some most suspect people like to see the, the drive. On, um, Great Ocean Highway. But supposedly it's supposed to be a, an immigrant which has uh, actually been brought in but somehow has escaped. And from that he's actually acquired a weapon and he's he's just on the loose. So we're going to have to get an arrest on him and take him back in. Suspect last seen on Great Ocean Highway. So he's located last on Great Ocean Highway. We'll head up there now, we'll check our map once more. And he must be on the move, so by vehicle, so we'll have to try and get there as fast as possible. Code three, boys. Code three. Target last seen on um, Great Ocean Highway. So I'll check our map again, and Piers is heading actually southbound down Great Ocean Highway. So we'll see if we can flank him off. Possibly over here, so we'll set a marker. And maybe we should thought okay, we'll set a marker here. And I think we'll be able to make it. Here? Here? Yeah, okay, we'll set a marker there. Hopefully we'll be able to get up. We'll have to go off road for this one, but it'll be alright. Target last seen on Great Ocean Highway. Alright, this is Border pa border on, Patrol uh, Unit 1. Great Ocean Highway. We're on a possible pursuit Suspect with uh, on, an immigrant um, Great Ocean Highway. which has escaped uh, escaped and is Target now on a pursuit. 
or now on a st possible stolen vehicle as well. So he's heading southbound. Oh god. Great Ocean Highway. Target last seen on Great Ocean Highway. So the suspect is heading southbound onto Great Ocean Highway, possibly heading into the city as well. Target last seen on Great Ocean Highway. Okay, we'll check our map a quick again, and yeah, he's, he's overshot our expectation here. We probably should have cut him off at another angle, but it's alright. We should be able to catch up to him. Target last seen on Great Ocean Highway. Oh, bumpy ride here, bumpy ride. Suspect last seen on but I mean, most likely Great he's not going to be in a vehicle that's uh, got the horsepower and the speed of uh, a good old Suspect police buffalo. Highway. So we should be able to catch up to him, no bother. Suspect last seen on um, Great Ocean Highway. Target last seen on uh, Great Ocean Highway. Suspect last seen on Great Ocean Highway. Target last seen on Great Ocean Highway. Target oh, a little bit, a little bit of a jump there. Highway. Suspect last seen on um, Great Ocean Highway. All right, we'll give our ch map a glow check, and he's actually not as far as I expect him to be. So we should be able to get to him Target last seen extremely on, fast, uh, especially as we're Great ready to head Ocean up onto the highway. Target last seen on. I mean, this is under our job as well. Great the police don't really have a. Well, Target probably shouldn't be doing this, on, but um, Great Ocean I mean, sometimes they, sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But since we are the Border Patrol, this is our designated kind of um, area in what we're Great supposed Ocean to do. Alright, so this is Border Patrol on Unit on 1, Great Ocean now highway. on the highway, heading southbound down Ocean Highway. Should be able to catch up to the Suspect escaped perp. Fairly Great soon. Ocean highway. Target last okay. seen on, um, yeah, he's still heading Great down the highway. highway. He's not heading off into the countryside or off road, so that's that's a bonus for us here. Suspect last seen on Great Ocean Highway. Suspect last seen on um, Great Ocean Highway. Alright, uh, we'll go into the Suspect last seen on a uh, into the drive off highway. zone. I don't even know what you call this zone. Target like last it's seen on I know what you call it in highway. the UK, but I don't know what you call it in the goddamn US of eight America. Target last seen All right, on um, We're catching up to the escape part which is good. We had reports that he did have a, a possible weapon, so he could be Suspect armed and dangerous here. On, uh, Great Ocean Highway. Suspect last seen on um, Great Ocean Highway. Okay, this is Patrol Unit One Target last approaching seen the suspect. On Great Ocean Highway. Straight from behind here, and we have we have a view on the suspect. This could actually be the same burrito van which we left behind. Maybe it was this, the guy that we that was registered actually f like got it back. That could possible. That could actually be a high possibility here. We didn't really. We just gave it a ticket. We didn't really do anything. We didn't put a wheel thing on it. A wheel clamp. So yeah, it could actually be. So we've got eyes on it. Appears to be a black burrito van with one male occupant and. Way to flag them down and see if they'll stop. Units reporting. All right, we've flagged. We flagged down the suspect, but they're they're just arresting arrest arresting a, a re resisting arrest now. Okay. Can we get out? Oh no! I knew they'd do that as well. All right, we're now on a hot pursuit with the black burrito van. Heading down into Pacific Bluffs, taking a left on inter 
taking a left into Bay City Incline, heading eastbound here, so this could end badly, so if it does we might need some units additionals on scene. Alright, uh, the best thing we do here is poss possibly go for a request to pit. Doesn't look like this guy going to stop anytime soon. Yep, this is the correct vehicle, black Brito van. Alright, nice, we got request to pit, so once it's all clear, we're going to go for a pit and take this guy out. Okay. Well, I don't want to get out because he most likely is just going to speed away if we try to get him out. Oh, so the pres Oh, it was successful. <laughs> oh my god! Thanks, I, I, I guess? Sir, hands up! It's come to this. You gotta love the pedestrians of. You gotta love the good old good citizens of Los Santos helping the police officers out. You gotta love them. Alright, sir. Hands up, behind your head, Dro drop the weapon. Alright. Hands firmly where they are. Alright, sir, I'm gonna go in for the arrest now. You're under arrest for resisting arrest. Uh, a legal possession of a firearm. And multiple counts of. Jailbreaking. I don't need, like I don't know what you call that if when people like es escape from a prison or a jail or in custody. Escape from custody. So yeah, that'll be it. Okay. So sir, anything you do say will be used against you in a court of law. I'm gonna call on a unit, uh, transport unit, come pick this John Peterson up. Alright, so we got a John Peterson here, gonna be brought in for a uh, mobile counts of a recent arrest, mobile counts of uh, escaping custody, and the legal possession of a firearm. I won't let you guys take care of that, so we'll. I mean, we're jaywalking here, boys, we're jaywalking, but it's fine. Go and move this vehicle out the way and give it a quick search. Move it down into one of these parking bays. Ah, better move our vehicle as well. Yeah, we'll just move it here. It should be alright here. Okay, so we'll give this vehicle a quick second. They'll, they'll probably be taking a Peter away here, or John Peterson. And we'll give this a uh, brief little, little pat down, see if we can find anything legal. I mean, we, if it was the same van, I wouldn't be surprised if we didn't find anything. But the the immigrants sure, and the immigrants transporters uh, sure do like to transport them in vans like these, any types of burrito van or any types of like brute ponies. They do like their type these types of vans. So yeah, as I expected, you found nothing of interest. So yeah, that's John Peterson picked up. Uh, we could get this, we'll request a tow for this vehicle this time. Or in, wait, instead we'll get a wheel, we'll park it up, we'll get a wheel clamp put on it. And uh, we'll get a parking ticket for it as well. Because technically it's in a parking zone now, so it's not the best thing it's doing here. Citizens report a motor vehicle accident on Del Perro Freeway. All right, we'll we'll just we'll just wheel clamp it. That'll probably that'll do the job. That's if it lets us. Will it will us? I don't think it's. You cannot issue a vehicle, so it must be. This vehicle must be completely out of action. So the best thing we could do is put out its misery. Call a tow truck. Alright, so this is a uh, Border Control 1 requesting a tow truck for a Black Declassa. 
and it's going to be down on Interstate 2, down on Bay City Avenue. And yeah, once again, that's going to be for a D Class of Burrito. Okay. So, I think that's going to be us for the video, potentially. Going to be calling in the tow truck and hear some sirens as well, but I think, yeah, that is probably us. I hope you have all enjoyed. I mean, I have, I've had a blast filming this one. I just, I think it's just been so chill. It's been so, like, it's stuff which I think you guys may enjoy. And I just wish that my content would get to a lot more people, as I do think it's hopefully worthy, but I do think uh, this content would be great if it got to a wider audience. Tell me what you guys think in the comments. Do you think my content's good enough? Do you think it's uh, worthy enough to compete with the, the big guys of LSPDFR? Because I think it could potentially be. I, I like my... I don't know if you think I like my style. Well, it's alright, but, yeah. As always, I hope you all did enjoy. If you did, be sure to leave a like, and as I said, put a comment down below. And of course, if you're new here, feel free to subscribe for more daily, great LSPDFR content. So I've been Tovitastic, and I'll see you all in the next episode.